Ladies, ladies, let's get the show underwear. Let me get the show underwear. Hold your horses, please. Everybody needs to hold their horses. The fuck is happening right now? Hold on. Hold. Everybody, please hold. Hold your horses, please. I need everybody to hold their... The show's almost on... What the fuck is happening? There we go. We're on the air. We're on the airways here tonight. Ladies, we are here tonight on the show. And tonight on the show, I'm like, you know what? Let's talk about the major leagues because I think we feel like we're doing a lot, a lot of um, football, basketball. I'm like, let's talk about the major leagues for a little bit. You know, we haven't talked about the major leagues in, in a while. Let's see how this season's going. Let's see how the major leagues are going. So let's go to the major leagues. Oh my God, see, the major leagues. Oh my lord, that's so boring. My grandfather watches that shit. Well, you know what, man? We I like baseball. I know a lot of you don't like baseball. I know, like, you know, a lot of you are rather watch the football and basketball videos. But you know what? I like baseball. Every time we do a baseball video, it's higher than a draft pussy. The views are higher than a draft pussy. Like, seriously, even the PlayStation baseball videos I do. The last one I made has, like, 70 views. Like, some people like baseball. Some of you complain about it. Some of you like it, you know? Um, the one I did, the last one I did with Robinson Cano, um, getting suspended, that, ha that has like a hundred views. So, the, the, the views are there for the baseball video, so, I'm gonna keep doing that, not every time, but once in a while. So, let's look, how is the Major League Baseball looking so far? Alright, so, you know, the first, I, I, this is a few times I've done this, you know, how is it going so far? And now I think it's the easiest, because now it's, we're, we're, we're into a few months of the Major League Baseball season, and we can really see who's good and who's not. You know, I thought in April and May we were struggling to figure things out, you know. But now we look at it. Let's go. Let's start in the um let's start in the American let, let's start in the American League. Alright, without question, the best three teams in the American Leagues are the Red Sox, Yankees, and Astros. To me, those are the question, the best three teams in the American League. Um I think um um, what to call? I think um, Seattle has a chance, possibly. I think they're gonna be a wild card team. The thing with Seattle is, it's I, I don't. It's pitching. It's just flat out pitching. Jane Paxton and Felix Hernandez are killing it this year. J um, Felix Hernandez finally has a um, a sidekick by his side in James Paxton. They are really doing a very good job this year. Um, do they have enough hitting? That is the problem. Robinson Cano suspended for a few months with um. Um, um, filling a um, steroids test, um, and I don't think they're gonna be able to use him for the playoffs. So if he does come back, all he can do is help him get in the playoffs. But then I think I read something or I saw something. But if, if the Seattle does get in the playoffs, they can all that that, that can they can all use Armstrong to know because I think that's also part of the um, punishment for filling a, a steroids test. That not only do you get suspended for like two months, but then also you have to miss the playoffs. I think that's what it says. I don't know. But if that's the case, do you want to bring Robinson Cano back? Because you're playing very good baseball right now. Why bring him back? And then you're going to lose him again in the playoffs. That's the thing I don't know. Um, but Seattle's a team there that um, they can make it that nobody thought. It. They can make it. I really like their pitching. I really do. They're, they're, they won a lot of close games. You know, I think there's I think they're 5-0 and zero when it comes to winning games in extra innings. They haven't lost a game yet this year when they go to extra innings. They're, now, today they got their ass whooped. Um, I watched a little bit of that game by the Red Sox, but hey, it's the Red Sox. But Seattle's a team that I think had a chance. Um, they just, I think they need more hitting, though. I, although I like what I'm seeing, I think they need more hitting. Um, maybe Jose Abreu from the White Sox. I just don't know if they can offer, what, what do they have to offer from the minor leagues. Um, but that's, I mean, though, I mean, I don't know. Um, I think that's something that, and, and then especially if, if, you know, if you don't get Robinson Cano, if you get Robinson Cano back, but then you go into the playoffs and then you lose them again. You need, you're going to need some hitting in the playoffs. I'm sorry because right now you're getting away a little bit with it because some you, you're, you're, look, you're playing the A's 20 times a year. You're, and you're playing the, the, the um, Texas 20 times a year. Those are not two very good teams. You're not going to be seeing that. You're going to play Kansas City about, you know, I don't know, seven times a year. <sighs> You know, the White Sox seven times. You're not going to get those. So you can get away with not having enough hitting in the in the season when you face those shitty-ass teams. But, you know, Tampa Bay, another one. You know, but once you have to deal with the Red Sox, Yankees, and um, Houston, you're going to be in trouble if you don't have enough hitting, especially with the Yankees. Um, 
So if I was their management, I would if I was man if, if I was the management over there, I would for sure go get a um a hitter. I don't know what exactly you do, but I would for sure get a one or two more hitters um to pair up with Nelson Cruz. That would be a good combination of Jose Abreu and Nelson Cruz. But we'll see what happens. And then Robinson Cano, I don't know what the situation thing. I know he's coming back. Then I think you have to once again set him out in the playoffs. I'm not sure what the situation is there. Comment in the comment section if you know what the situation is for Robin. If you fell a uh, if you fell a um, a steroids tax, do you get to come back after those the suspension? But if your team goes to the playoffs, do you get to play or not? I think you don't. But anyways, uh, I think they need a hitter. Um, then I look at um I look at um the Yankees. They need another starting pitcher. They need another starting pitcher. You got Masahiro Takanaka and you got Luisa Marino. After that, what do you have if you're the Yankees? Um, you know, um, Cesar Zabatia, you have him, and I think he's going to, you know, I think he's going to take it up to another level when it comes to the playoffs. We saw that last year, how he didn't have the most amazing season, but when it came to the playoffs, he turned it on to the, to the next level. So I, I wouldn't be too worried about Cesar Zabatia. He, he's won a world championship. He's been in playoffs a lot in his career. I'm not too worried about Cisabatia. Let him do whatever. And I you know, you may get the same Cisabatia you got last year in the playoffs. You know, he was one of the best pitchers. So Cisabatia, I would just, you know, you might not have you might not have the Cisabatia in the season, but once the playoffs start, you know he's gonna show up. Um but then you do have to go get another starter because um what is his face? Um Jordan Montgomery's out for the season, he broke his shoulder, he's out for the season, he fucking sucks. And then also, um, what is that other guy? Sonny Gray? Sonny Gray has not been what you expected since you got him from the Athletics. Sonny Gray has not been that amazing. You need to go out and get somebody else. I don't know who the hell you go get, but uh, maybe Cole Hamels. I don't know. You need to go out and go Noah Syndergaard from the Mets. I don't know if they're going to be one to trade to the Yankees, though. We saw it last year with the Chicago Cubs traded, excuse me, with the Chicago White Sox trading Jose Quintana to the Chicago Cubs. Are the Mets going to be willing to trade um, a guy like um, Syndergaard or um, Jacob Duhan to the um, to the Yankees? I don't know. Maybe Cole Hamill from the Rangers? Um... I don't know what you do, but um, yeah, you maybe Chris Archer from Tampa Bay? That would be a nice one, actually. Um, I actually like Chris Archer. I think that could be a nice for the Yankees if they can get Chris Archer. Um, you know, but you need to go out and get another pitching because right now, other than Masahiro Takanaka, who's hurt right now, and Luis Samarino, if C. Sabatia shows up in the playoffs, you still need one more starter. But then what the Yankees got to do. The Red Sox? Uh, I mean... The Red Sox, to me, the question is, is are, are the pitchers going to stay healthy? Um, you know, is Chris Sale going to be able to hang on? Because that's what Chris Sale's problem has been. That he always makes it the first few months, and then after the All-Star break, he starts going apart. Is he going to make it through? Or do you need to go out and get another pitching? Is Rick Porcello, David Price, are those guys going to be able to make it through? Um, unfortunately, they have a very good starting rotation, but the, at the same time, these are guys who the last few years have fallen apart as the season has going on. Chris Sal, as a White Sox fan, I can tell you this. He starts the two, three months amazing, fantastic, and then as the season goes on, he starts to fall apart. David Price, last year was hurt a lot. That's the thing with, with the Red Sox. Do they need to go in and get another pitching? You probably have one of the um, top Five closers and Greg Cambrell. Do you need to go out and get another setup man? You know, I don't know what you do if you're the Red Sox. You might stay with what you have, and just I'm just a little bit worried about the the the, the, the some of these pitchers like a David Price, a Chris Sale. Can they hang on? Can they fucking go? Like, can can they can they survive the season and then go to the playoffs and be successful? But other than that, I'm okay with the Red Sox. Um, and then um. Houston, Houston, you need to go out, go out, go out. I, I made a show about this few, a few weeks ago. If you're Houston, you need to go, go out and get a, you need to go get some relievers. I'm sorry. You need to go out and get some because this, they, they're actually in an in in 11, in 11 game winning streak. I don't know how because that, that, those relievers that come out of that bullpen 
absolutely suck ass. So you need to go, you need to seriously go out and get some relievers. I know you still, still have some young players in the minors or even on the major league teams who are not playing that much because you're so stacked with talent, some of these hitters. You need to go out and trade some of these young hitters for some, um, for some um, um, bullpen help because your bullpen is a mess. I do not trust nobody coming out of a bullpen. I don't know how they've gone the last few days, you know, because I know they're in the living and winning streak, but still, they need to go, uh, go out and get a bullpen help. Other than that, the Houston Astros are fine. And then lastly, I look at the Indians. Um, look, Detroit has a chance, the Detroit Tigers. Um, I think Ron Harnheiner is doing an amazing job, a fantastic job of getting the most out of that team. It reminds me when um, Joe Madden was on Tampa Bay. He, really, he didn't have that, 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 that too much of a team, but he got the most out of it. I think that's what Ron Harnheiner is doing right now with the Tigers. He is getting the most out of it. He just swept my Chicago White Sox this weekend. I didn't know whether to tie shit or wind my watch. But he just swept us. There are only, I believe, two games out of the Indians for the first place. What do you... Oh, but uh, Miggy, 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 Miggy is out for the season. He broke his shoulder. I, I have a lot of respect for this man, Ron Heidenheimer. I think he should be manager of the year if he finds a way to get the Tigers into the playoffs. I don't think he will, but look, I don't know if you do, I don't know what you do if you're Detroit, I really don't, because, you know, you were supposed to be a shitty ass team this year, and you're in it, you're only two games out, I don't know if you do what you're Detroit, I really don't, you're kind of stuck there, because I think they're getting ready to trade Maggie out and try to get some minor league um, players in return, but now you can't even do that. One, you can't do that because now you're, you're actually winning. And two, Miggy, Miggy broke his shoulder and it's out for the season. So if you're the twin, you don't know whether to touch shit or one your watch. At this moment, you might go just play it on and see what happens. Indians, they're just not that good. Um, I don't know what has happened to um to Corey um to um what's his name um. Is it Kluber? Corey Kluber and um, Andrew Miller. I don't know what has happened to... Cody Allen, excuse me. Cody Allen and Andrew Miller. I don't know what has happened to those two. They were amazing, fantastic in the past. And both of those guys have struggled this year. Andrew Miller has been hurt. The, the pitching shot... I don't know what has happened. This, this was the strength of this Indians team. The pitching. And now it is falling apart. You, you look at guys like Andrew Miller and Cody Allen and you say, what the fuck happened? But maybe they can get it together. I don't know. Maybe you want to get some help on the bullpen. I don't know. Pitching would probably be the way to go. The Indians, I think they're going to go to the playoffs this year. But that is a very weak division they're in. Like I said, it is ridiculous that the Detroit Tigers are in this shit right now with the, what they have. But that just how, tells you how weak the division is. Um, all right, let's go to the National League. Look, the National League to me, um, you look at um, you look at you look at um the the Mets. Like I said, what do you do if you're the Mets? Um, do you start looking to trade some of these guys like Jacob Dugran and Noah Syndergaard and start and start accepting it? it Maybe their manager's an idiot. I don't even know who the fuck this is. But like, are you serious? You couldn't get in somebody else to manage your team? <laughs> Look, I love the Mets team. They went to the World Series a few years ago and lost to Kansas City. But hey, you have to you have to accept it that it's just not getting it done. I don't know what exactly is going on because you have a very good team. Like the pitching, unbelievable, you know. Jacob Dugran, Noah Syndergaard, you know. Um, what is that other guy's name? Um, Max, whatever his name is, you know. And they just. I, I, I think you have to start accepting it that for some reason, Joannes Aspides, you know, J Jay Bruce, you know, I can go on and on. It's just not clicking. It's just not working. And you might have to accept the fact that you may have to make some trades. You might have to let it go and just fucking pull the plug on this and start looking to trade Jacob Dubron and Noah Syndergaard, maybe Joannes Aspides. Because I hate to say it, I'm a big fan of the Mets, but it's just not working out. I'm sorry. Then you and then you look at the young. Then you look at um Washington. Washington have got to make the playoffs this year if they want to keep um um Harper there. Harper is going to be a free agent this year, and if you at least do not make the playoffs, Harper is well out of there. 
Harper has been frustrating. You, every year you have an amazing year, and then the, in the playoffs you fold and you fail. If you do not make the playoffs this year, oh my lord, is Harper going to leave you high and dry? You have got to make the playoffs. You need to find a way. You have everything. I don't know what the problem is. It's the same thing as uh, um, like it's the same thing. It's almost the same thing as the Indians. Like what the fuck? You have hitting. You have pitching. You you you, you have um Steven Strasburg and Max Scherzer. You just can't fucking figure it out. It's unbelievable to me. Excuse me. It is unbelievable to me. Um, and then you look at the um. Washington has got to find a way to make the playoffs if they want to keep Harper. Um, and then look, and then you look at the young kids. You know, you look at um, you look at um, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. Excuse me. Um, um, you look at you look at um, Atlanta and Philadelphia. Can they survive? I don't know. I don't think Philadelphia can. I don't think the Reds. I think they're too young. They're too green. But maybe Atlanta can survive. You know, Washington for some reason. You know, they just always seem to find a way to fail. Maybe they don't even make the playoffs this year, and maybe Atlanta sneaks in. We'll see what happens there. Atlanta, they're too young. I'm not even going to get into what they need because it's just too much of a surprise. Um, I mean, I like their team, but this is, the with, this is the thing with Atlanta. They are ahead of schedule. They were not supposed to compete this year. They were still supposed to try to slowly start developing and bringing their minor leagues up to play. And so they are ahead of schedule. So you don't really want to move too much. You want to keep the you want to keep the team the way it is. If you make the playoffs, fantastic. If you don't, hey, this is not we're, we are ahead of schedule. If I'm Atlanta, I'm not really doing too much because you are ahead of schedule. You were not supposed to compete for the playoffs this year. Maybe in two or maybe in one or two years. So you are ahead of schedule. So if I'm Atlanta, I'm not really making too much too many moves. I'm just keeping it the way they are, and we'll see what happens. All right, um, let's go to the West. The West is a mess. The Dodgers seem like they were out of it. Now they're back in it. You know, you got Arizona, Colorado, Arizona. Everybody's in it. I think the Dodgers will eventually win it. But that's a mess. Like, that division is unbelievable. That's probably the tightest division in all in the entire league right now. We'll see what happens there. Mm, the Dodgers, you know... It's another team just like Washington that um, Clayton Kershaw is going to be a free agent and if you don't make the playoffs this year, oh, you have had all the success, but something that you have never done is win a World Series. And Clayton Kershaw could say, the hell with it. You know, amazing. I love LA. I love LA. I love LA. But he may just say, the hell with it and leave you. Um, just like Harper in Washington. He, the Yankees need some pitching help. Maybe I, I don't know. <coughs> now I don't think um they're gonna play they're gonna trade Clinton Kershaw to the um to the Yankees because they're still in it. But maybe a month ago, if you would have told me that, I'm like, hey, it may, it may not be too bad of a, a bad idea. Obviously, you don't do that shit. I'm just messing around, you know. Clinton Kershaw, he's a free agent, but you don't trade Clinton Kershaw. But I'm just talking. But you do trade a guy maybe like Jake um Nola Syndergaard or Jacob Dugran. Um, from the Mets. Anyways, um, we'll see what happens. I think the Dodgers will win, but we'll see what happens. And last, look, you got the Milwaukee, Chicago, um, for the NL Central. Um, it's, it's kind of like the same thing as last year where Milwaukee for most of the year was in first place. And then at the end, Chicago came in and won it. Um, I think Chicago, I think they're eventually going to win this shit. I just don't know when. Now, Milwaukee's a better team than last year. Now they got Christian Jellick and, um, and Lorenzo Cain. So now they got leadership. You know, they have a guy in uh, Lorenzo Cain who, ha who has played in two World Series, has won a World Series. So now you got that leadership of, of a guy like Lorenzo Cain in that, in, in that team. They're not as green as last year. But do they have enough to beat the Cubs? I don't think so. I think the Chicago Cubs will eventually um, win this um, this shit. I really do. Um, we'll see what happens, though. I, I just saw the whole series this weekend between Chicago and St. Louis. Um, the first two games, Chicago, Chicago won, and then tonight, um, St. Louis won. But you know what? I'm like, Milwaukee's better than they were last year. Maybe they need some pitching help. I don't know. I don't know, but I think Chicago Cubs will eventually find a way to win that division. I really do. We'll see what happens, though. 
We'll see what happens, though. But I think Chicago Cubs find a way to win the division. If you're the Chicago Cubs, what the hell do you do? The bullpen's actually not that bad this year as it was last year. That was what one of what, what, what I was right about for the Chicago Cubs this year. Last year, the bullpen was a piece of shit. And they didn't even address it to me, if you ask me, other than getting Morrow from Los Angeles. And they actually, I believe they lost on Wade Davis, didn't they? He went to, like, Colorado. So I'm like, damn. It might be even worse last year. But it's been the opposite. I think they got a new pitching coach. Um, and that's, maybe that's a difference. <coughs> maybe that's been the difference, you know, the new pitching coach they got in there. Hickey, I believe his name is. Um, I don't know what the difference is, you know. I, I, I think their bullpen is better than last year. They made a pitching coach, you know. They have a new pitching coach in there. We'll see. I don't know. I wouldn't panic too much. It, I think it's going to be the same thing as last year. Although Milwaukee's a better team this year. I think it's gonna at the end of the day, just like last year, towards the end, Chicago's gonna end up winning that division. Then we'll see what happens. I went through everything, I think. Wild card. Look, I think it's going to be Seattle and the Yankees, maybe? I don't know. And then obviously I got the Red Sox, Houston, and Cleveland winning the divisions in the American League. And then like I said, I have um Seattle and the Yankees going into the wild card. I look at the um, NL. I got Chicago winning the I, their division. I got um, the um, I got I'm gonna say Washington. They have to winning their division if they want to keep Harper. And then I'm gonna say I have the Dodgers winning their division. And then in the wild card, I'm, I'm gonna put um, man, it's so hard. I'm going to put um, Atlanta and Milwaukee in the wild card. I know there's teams like Arizona that may say, hey, Mexican fat ass. But that's what we're going to see. It's only June. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But what else can I say But thank you? What else can I say But thank you? I don't know. What, we'll see how the views go for this show. A lot of views are low for these shows. But hey, I mean, excuse me. The views are high for these shows. But I know some of you complain. Hopefully, this is a good video. Hopefully, I get some views. Um... Every time I made a baseball video, it has like, it gets at least like 50 views. So we'll see what happens. But until next time, I am the man that runs the place. I am C. And until next time, I will see you. I will see you later.